How does deep breathing lower your blood pressure? There are two mechanisms and I'm gonna share those with you in this video and then after I tell you that, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do the deep breathing so that you can get the most benefit from that type of breathing. My name is Dr. Story. I've been a doctor of chiropractic for over 26 years. I'm gonna give you realistic advice based on my experience and based on the scientific literature. Now there are two mechanisms. The first mechanism is by increasing our own body's natural ability to produce nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a gas that's developed inside our blood vessels and when we have a lot of this in our body, our blood vessels tend to dilate and become very, very pliable. So when our heart beats and pushes blood through our arteries, because of the pliability of the artery, there is not as much pressure inside the artery and thus our blood pressure measures lower. That's one mechanism. The second mechanism is by it deep breathing can stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system. Now we've all heard of the sympathetic nervous system because that is something that happens when we're excited, when we're stressed, our body produces more cortisol, our um, body is very tense. That is the sympathetic nervous system, but the parasympathetic nervous system does the exact opposite. If we can lower our cortisol levels, if we can slow down our breathing, slow down our heart rate, lower our blood pressure, relax our body, improve digestion, that is all a part of the parasympathetic nervous system, essentially. And by doing the deep breathing the way I sh I'm gonna show you in just a moment, you can maximize the stimulation of the parasympathetic nervous system. So let's get into how exactly do you do this. Here's how. The steps are this. You're gonna breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Now, just a disclaimer, there are many different ways to do this. I find that when I show patients this, this way works the best. But if you have a, a better way or a way that works better for you, it's largely an individual thing. But of all the methods that I've shown people, breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, just that simply is the easiest thing to learn and the majority of people uh, benefit from it. So let me know in the comment section if you find something different. But it's in through the nose, out through the mouth. Now when you breathe in through the nose, the key is this. You're gonna inhale as deeply as humanly possible. So it's not a shallow breath and it's not a quick breath. You're not trying to hyperventilate. What you're gonna do is you're gonna start at the belly and fill up your belly and then fill up the lower lungs and then fill up the middle lungs and then fill up the top lungs. You're gonna inhale as if you were gonna dive underneath some water for a long period of time. This is the last breath that you're gonna take before you go and submerge yourself underwater for an extended period of time. So you're gonna get as much air into your lungs as humanly possible. So here is how it looks. And then when you let the air out, just relax and let the air out. Breathe in deep, breathe in slow, and let it go. So on the exhalation, you don't force the exhalation, you just let all the air out of your mouth as if you were letting go of a balloon that let all the air out. You don't have to hum, don't overcomplicate it, you just let all the air out. So you breathe as deeply as you can, and you saw when I did that how deep and how slow and how much I expanded my lungs that's how you want to do it. So how many repetitions do you do? The answer is about 30, roughly 30. You're gonna do 30 deep, slow breaths. It'll take you about five minutes. Now if you take your blood pressure before you do the deep breathing and then after the deep breathing, you're gonna probably be shocked at how much your, your blood pressure just re-equilibrates and becomes normal. Most people find that the first number, the systolic number, is more representative of stress. So if your blood pressure is related to your mental stress, physical stress, that type of thing, and you do this deep breathing for five minutes, you're probably gonna be shocked at how much your blood pressure will go down, particularly 
the first number. Some, in some cases, it can be lowered as much as 30 points. Now, how long does it last? That's variable, of course. It depends on the person. However, if you were to practice this every single day, just like brushing your teeth every single day, you're going to have long-term benefits. Now, I say brushing your teeth as an example, and there's always one person who says, I don't even brush my teeth. Well, then, you know, don't, don't breathe near me. <laughs> but brushing your teeth really only keeps your teeth clean for a short period of time, doesn't it? Until you eat. So if you brush your teeth in the morning and then you have breakfast or lunch, now your teeth are dirty again. But that doesn't negate the benefits of brushing your teeth. But if you brush your teeth every single day, twice a day, over a long period of time, your teeth are gonna be much healthier. It's the same thing with your breathing and your blood pressure. If you were to do deep breathing once a day, twice a day for 30 deep breaths, about five minutes, sure, you're gonna still have stress in your daily life, but what's gonna happen is over a period of time by giving your, your body those breaks where they act, you actually stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system and produce more nitric oxide, you're actually gonna over time have some long-term benefits. Lower blood pressure, enhanced heart health, protect your arteries, improve your energy, improve your bone health, help migraines, chronic pain, and depression, reduce artery stiffness, and better sleep. These are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the benefits of magnesium. The soil sucks, we don't eat enough organic vegetables, and that is why it's so hard to get enough magnesium in our diet. Now the supplements that I take are from the video sponsor, Magnesium Breakthrough, and they have a great product that has seven different types of magnesium in it, all listed right here. Now when you get all these major forms of magnesium, then your body really starts to improve and that is when the magic happens. I take two tablets at nighttime, it gives me 500 milligrams of magnesium per day and it really helps me sleep like a baby. There will be a discount code and the link for this type of magnesium down in the description.